appreciate it. Thank you. Well, you know, every once in a while a song comes along and it just is a magical song and not necessarily one I've written that I like to do. And one particular song was at a studio in Toronto. It was RCA Toronto. And we were recording with a guy, an engineer called Ken Friesen, and he had a friend, Lawrence Hud was his name. And Lawrence had a song that he had just written. And uh, so anyway, Kenny Friesen played it for me. And it, again, was just one of those songs I heard. And I said, oh, I like that. So I decided to re record it. And I have to preface it all the time as a Lawrence Hud song, because a lot of people think because it's on my CD that it's a song I wrote. I wish the heck I would have written it because it's a beautiful song. So this is on a day like today with the sun shining. Thank you, Lawrence Hud. I've got an aching for some sun. Let's go outside and take a run. Cross the fields and through the streams. Over the meadows soft and green Put down that book and rest your head Throw back the sheets, get your body out of bed Cause you're only reading famous lines And words don't hold the breath of life Oh baby, the time is right Take a walk under that great big open sky Put on your matching scarlet robe Oh, honey, come on now You can be my summer rose Come on, let's go outside and we'll play I want to roll you in the hay then I'm going to chase you around the combine Because you let me catch you every time Honey, I swear the walls are moving in But I'm never one to miss a hint I swear it's got to be a sin To waste an amazing day like this Oh, baby, the time is right To take a walk under that great big open sky Put on your matching scarlet robe Oh, honey, come on now Come and be my summer rose Put on your matching scarlet robe oh, 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 And you can be my summer rose I appreciate that. Thank you. I was sitting the other day reflecting on life and how quickly it's going by. Life is a wonderful thing. You gotta live every day though. So I just realized the other day I turned 75, 55 years in the music business and loving every minute of it to this day. I'm so happy you're here today because the opportunity to play for an audience is uh, like the food. It's the gas in the tank. Thank you. Thank you. 75 years young, I call it. Appreciate it. So I decided I would write a song, because I had to. And I thought to myself, now, what is uh, going on here? And I said, well, let's see. After all these years, I am still wondering what tomorrow will bring. And it, it's, it's been one of my thoughts all through my life. I wonder what tomorrow will bring. So uh, it's almost a philosophy with me now. When I go to bed, I think to myself just before nodding off, because you don't know till tomorrow what's going to go down. Usually it's good, thank you, God. Other times it's got its trials and tribulations, but we work through them. So what does tomorrow bring? Well, I decided I would do a little chronological, through the years, historical kind of thing about me. And um, I, I'm going to take you right back to when I was 16 years old, living on Frank Street, singing the songs on the porch at 47 Frank. And my girlfriend living across the street, my first real girlfriend. And I'll take you from there to today with my current love. 
Now, there's many things going on in this song, and I want you to pay attention because there's going to be a quiz at the end. <laughs> I believe that in our minds, we have a, a light bulb that goes off that dictates, you know, ah, that's the answer, therefore that's what will dictate what tomorrow will bring. Or there's a bell that goes off, a dingling. And that dingling, when that dingling goes off, it's like the race is on. You finally, you're ready to go now. So I put that into the song. Let me see, how did I start? This is so new, I'm even working it out. There we go. History. When I was 16, I was living on Frank Street. Lorena was my red-headed teenage queen. She made a man of me. She rang my diggling. She made me look forward to what tomorrow would bring. When I was 23, at a house in Kingston, I married the very pretty but very pregnant Linda. Oh, her daddy said it was the right thing. But she broke my dingling and changed forever what tomorrow will bring. Round and round, up and down, and back and forth we go. Falling in and out of this thing called love Like a television sitcom show Looking for that one last dance That one last chance To find a lasting true romance To make you look forward To what tomorrow would bring See, you're thinking about your own life. Well, I slid into 40. Boy, was I in trouble. I was working too hard, partying into the night, going down like the Titanic. And then along came Trudy. Well, she awoke my dingling made me look forward again to what tomorrow would bring. Well, Trudy stayed at the farm with me until she had her baby. Then she and Eric left Packenham. I thought that's the end of that story. So I married the fair Leanne. But after 20 years, we struggled. When we parted again, I wondered what tomorrow would bring. You see, round and round and up and down and back and forth we go. Falling in and out of this thing called love like some television sitcom show. Well, I slammed into 70. Oh, that's when it hit me. I was now officially a member of the golden years. Well, your eyes don't see so good. You kind of hurt all over. And you really, really wonder what tomorrow will bring. But then one day on my Samsung, I got a call from an iPhone. I was living down east by the sea then. My God, it was Trudy. She said she never stopped loving me. Well, I rang my diggling. 
So I flew her down to Halifax to see what tomorrow would bring. Round and round, up and down, and back and forth we go. Falling in and out of this thing called love, like a television sitcom show. But if you're lucky, my friend, in the end, I hope you find your ding-a-ling to make you look forward to what tomorrow will bring. Bring your ding-a-ling. Thank you. Appreciate that very, very much. How many of you are over uh, 40? <laughs> okay, that's good. How many of you are over, let's see what we have in our audience. Over 50. Still a good number over 50. Oh, okay, here it comes. Anybody over 60 in our audience? Holy smoke. I'm getting nervous. Anybody over 70? Okay, nobody's over 80. Look at you. Look at you. You look like a spring chicken. No, not a chicken. Not a chicken. No, I'm only joking. The lady over here, over 80. How old are you, ma'am? 81. No. 86. 86 years young. God love you. You look beautiful. 87. 87? That is amazing. What the heck is in the water in Manitick? <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. French it's French blood. Is that what you have in your French blood? So do I. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yes, I have French blood. My mother was a Seguin from Manawaki. Manawaki, Quebec. If you ever make a snack bar for a hot dog, be a Coke. <laughs> well, living in Hull, that's what we spoke. We spoke what we call Hull French, but... But anyway, she's a, yeah, she was French too. And where is your French heritage from? Oh, asbestos. Yeah. They got rid of that town, didn't they? Oh, no, it's the asbestos they got rid of. That's right, the mine. I'm only joking. Well, that's nice. Okay, good. I'm, uh, uh, I'm going to sing a song for all of us that are reflecting on the coming years. Um, I've, I've learned an expression that I used, and the expression is, growing old is not for the meek. <laughs> there was a movie that was recently out, and a, a, a songwriter, a great songwriter by the name of Toby Keith, uh, made a very poignant uh, statement uh, that we, especially at this point in our lives, can all start paying attention to. And it's important that we uh, live our lives happily and don't let the old man in. Don't let the old man in. I want to live it some more. Can't leave it up to him. He's knocking at my door. I knew all of my life That someday it would end Get up and go outside Don't let the old man in Many years I have lived My body's aching Ask yourself how old would you be If you didn't know the day you were born Lay some love on your wife And stay close to your friends Toast each sundown with wine Don't let the old man Mm -hmm. 
Many years I have lived My body's aching and worn Ask yourself how old you would be If you didn't know the day you were born When he rides up on his horse Feel that cold, bitter wind Get up and go outside Don't let the old man in Get up and go outside Don't let the old man in Appreciate that. Thank you. A recent song, one of the last ones that uh, I wrote just a little while ago I'd like to do for you. You'll be one of the first to hear it. It's a bit of a, uh, a memory trip for me, but it's um, also an important song for my father who gave me my first guitar at age 16 and who encouraged me to go on and chase this thing called the music business, which we've done and have enjoyed uh, my life doing so. But my father had a very unique name. His full name was uh, 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 Victor Sturlager Bjorn Rostad. And there was a handle living in a place called Medstead, Saskatchewan, because Saskatchewan farm folk didn't quite understand the Sturlager Bjorn uh, notion. So he went by the name Victor. And my father, Victor, um, I said to him one time, Dad, your name is so strong, Sturlager. Uh, why did you not stick with Sterlong? He said, oh, because the kids always made fun of me at school. So I, I, I stuck with Victor. So he was Victor Bjorn Sterlager, but he never put, he said Bjorn Sterlager. I didn't even know until I was 20 years old, darn near, that his middle name was Bjorn Sterlager until I saw it on an army certificate. So I always thought he was just Victor Rostad. I told my dad, I said, one day, Dad, I'm going to write a song and I'm going to put your name in it, but it won't be Victor. I want to celebrate the name that I think you should have gone with and that I love. So this song is a little look at... Uh, something's wrong here. Just give me a second. I knew it was something. Ah! <laughs> By God, we got her now because you just smiled. So here's the song. It's a little look over some of the years we've been living lately. Oh, the man I am. Now Sterlogger taught me a few simple lessons. He said if you believe what you're doing is right, don't second guess it. If there's something that you want out of life, then just go and get it. What Sterlogger taught me made me a determined man. You know, I spent the better part of my life traveling the country, talking to people and making note of their ways. I'd ask them, how did you do that? Why did you do it? And what did it teach you? What they told me made me a much wiser man. toast and honey I like cold draft beer going golfing and making money Oh, I can be a little complicated or downright funny I don't know my maker model It's just the kind of man I am You know, I've been north and south, I've been east and west. I've hung out with the very best. And for a while, I hung my hat down by the beautiful sea, where I would sit and gaze out in amazing wonder 
at this heaven on earth the creator gave you and me and i begin each day in the deepest appreciation thanking my maker for giving me another day yes the man i am the morning sunrise I love the cry of the gulls and the eagles as they go flying by you know the cry of a child reminds me how long I've been living for all I've been given it's made me a spiritual man you know all in all life's been good hey I'm still standing touch wood and I want to thank my Uncle Edgar because he taught me to believe in love. You see, I found my soulmate and I'm gonna keep her. She says she'll love me forever and I believe her. Oh, for once in my life, I truly get it. Her love has made me a truly grateful man. to make a lot of money but I'll share everything I have left except for my honey oh the Lord's not done with me yet I'm still a work in progress so take it or leave it that's the kind of man I am oh somebody's going to say I see you saw Rasta and Manatee how's the old boy doing you tell them I'm as happy as a clam Cause that's the kind of man I am That's exactly the kind of man I am Thank you all very much. I thank you. Wonderful being with you.